Alright, let's see about solving this puzzle over here. We're definitely gonna have to find the key. That is our puzzle. And it will be a journey towards the solution to the puzzle, that's for sure. So, let's check some story here. First we have... We have some books over here. O, H, F, and B. N, E, D, B. P, U. Earn. What's the deal with these titles? They're all just gibberish. Or there is a... There is something behind them. Hey, what if... Like, switch them around? Switch them around? Yeah. If you move them around, maybe they'll spell something. Oh, I... Oh, I get it. Yeah, heck. It's a worth... It's worth a shot. Hmm. Maybe. If you move it like this... Hold on a second. P on open. Maybe... Maybe you can open something? Let's see. Open. Here. Find bulb. How about this? Yeah, and here's the fucking bulb. <laughs> it looks like putting those books in the right order opened this thing right up. Yeah, that was a piece of cake. Hooray! You did it, Jimpy. I guess that turned out well enough. So that is when the titles fell out. Open here, find bulb. Yeah, there I got it. There I have it. It's a. Uh... A powerful light bulb, you say. The light bulb looks like it's... The light bulb looks like it's brand new. And it's really big, so you make a lot of light. <laughs> hmm. A powerful light bulb, huh. This will be pretty bright. <laughs> bright. Oh! You have a bright idea, Junpei? Hmm? Hmm? Like one of the oldest joke, One of the oldest jokes in the world. Hmm. Is there anything else around here? Our property value, our property value is going up out in space two, two these days. What? Man, I guess times are tough for aliens too. What? This one says cosmic inflation. Oh, you're talking about a book. Okay, <laughs> I was about to say, what the fuck are you talking about? This book's called Cosmic Inflation. What about over here? Quantum gravity. Seven. So, do you have any idea what this is? How about you start by using real words? Then maybe we'll get somewhere. <laughs> Not even you don't know. What's this? An overview of conformal field theory. Ah, well, it's a theory that posits an invariant quantum field where conformal transformation can take place. Invariant quantum field. Conformal transformation can take place. Well, here's the thing. I don't know... Hmm, conformal transformation. Uh, knock it off with the science voodoo stuff. You're trying to put me to sleep? <laughs> uh, I guess that's one way of putting Seven to sleep. Super, sy super symmetric... Super symmetric si string theory and 10-dimensional space-time. Uh, string theory? They're just talking about super string theory. It's a theory of reality where... Hmm, how to explain? It says that all elements of the universe are governed by vibrations and harmonics of tiny supersymmetric strings. Hmm, an interesting theory. Uh, what about this? Man, there are... Oh my god, there, are, there can be quite a lot of stuff here to check. If this section had that many things to check, then... Phew, theory of general relativity. Oh, I know this one! That's Einstein, right? Uh, yeah, you're right. You're definitely right, Clover. A plus. That's, that's really, really nice, Clover. Uh, okay, so this section will give me that. This section will give me that. What about this section? A kid's book? Here? It looks like it's a children's story book. Story about Native Americans. Hmm? Don't you think a random book like that is kind of suspicious? Maybe you ought to hold on to it. Uh, oh yeah, it's a children's book. In such a place like that? Mm, I mean, you can... F I guess so. This one has some Native Americans on the cover. 
Hey Junpei, take a look at this one. Native Americans, huh? Maybe it's got some- Whoa! Whoa! Okay, <laughs> Oh, look at this! Oh no, what is this? A K, an I? An L? How do I flip- Ah. Uh... Lilk? What in the world is that? Lilk? Clil? Hmm. What's that? What's that? This one's a 10 pop up books? What's them LRK? An R? Why are you seeing an R? That doesn't mean anything, does it? Well, you could make him KRL. KRL? Like curl or Carl. Oh, if you look at it from a different angle? Curl? How are you seeing a curl? K-R-L? Like this? That's just... Uh, hold on a second. Okay, maybe I'm seeing this wrong. So I've got a picture book here with the letters L, R, and K sticking out of it. What do you mean an R? I am not see I'm not seeing an R. What about this? Is there the medieval period? Maybe it's about Sir Lancelot? Isn't he just a story? I don't think you're gonna find a guy who didn't really exist in the history book. What about this? Hmm. A, st a history of Buddhism. Hmm. That is definitely something that I could read. Hmm. <laughs> Seven. This one has a book. Has books about religion, like a history of Buddhism. Look, this one says cultural heritage of home of Rome. That that's gonna be serious inheritance tax. What? <laughs> Seven, what the hell? Permian creatures. Seems a little fancy for some kind of prehistoric critter. Not to mention most of them were likely reptiles and amphibians. Without hair, I can't imagine they had much need of perms. I don't know. I mean, have you seen the Argonians in the Elder Scrolls games? That's got nothing to do with this. Hey, look at this. This was called Greek mythology. Damn, that thing's huge. Can't imagine anyone was actually read the whole thing. Pretty sure it just put me to sleep. Alright, history of the Western world. Um, I assume it's about European history. Uh, yeah. Just gonna leave it at that. I'm just gonna leave it at that, Snake? It doesn't seem like you. Huh. History of the Western world. Is there something wrong, Snake? I mean, you can tell me. Oriental history. Maybe this one's about China's 4,000 years of history or something? Mm, hey, Chinese history and Oriental history aren't the same thing. <laughs> this one has books about religion, okay. What's Hellenism? I think it's something like a fusion of Greek and Oriental culture. Huh, well, that's a new one for me. Okay, well, have we checked, like, everything? <laughs> oh my god, like, the true ending is gonna take me, like, ten more parts. Mostly because this part over here will mostly consist of me reading books over here, which I don't mind. The Black Hole Hypothesis. Gamma Ray Astrophysics? I guess this bookshelf has an astronomy theme. Okay, well, we cannot check up there. Energy theory, development of nanotechnology materials. Oh, God. Senator Armstrong. Nano machines, son. Interactions between shortwave energy and matter. What else we got? Just listening to you read those titles is giving me a headache. Can't say fancy technology stuff and I get along real well. Keep on talking about that stuff and you're gonna put me to sleep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is that so? Okay. So, we checked this part. Energy theory, huh? I don't even understand the title. The damn title. Looks like this shows all science technology. I mean, come on. It's a theory about energy. At least you can get that out of that. Okay. Okay, we can also check this. This book is called... Uh, Mind Swap? You mean you could, like, change bodies with someone? 
first thing on I was oof. I don't know hmm I I was thinking a mind sweep for some reason I don't know why well wait, wait, wait. hey hey clover clover don't, don't go without me I I wanted to read that ah damn it and the thing is I cannot really check the I can already check the script slash transcript with this. But I didn't pay too much. But I already died and let seven switch with me. <laughs> what the hell? What the holy hell? I can even want to swap bodies with a little bro like <laughs> Seven? Hey, were you just imagining it? You were! Y sh shut up! <laughs> seven? Yeah, well, he wasn't the only one. Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh just don't let the uh, snake listen on this discussion over here. I, I I do feel like we're not gonna get a a happy ending over here if Seven were to listen to this. This book says mind swap on the spine. Sounds like a reality show. Teletemporation and telepathy. Oh, telepathy. What the hell is this one about? Well, I know what telepathy is, but I've never heard of teletemporation. Yeah, me neither. The first to having the ability to travel through time. Is that so? To travel through time, you say? Well, we know that time is relative to the to space. To travel only through time? Either way. Man, they've got some weird stuff here. I can't even pronounce this one. It's probably something. I'm not gonna say it. Who's that? Some famous guy? It's not a person's name. It's the name of a fictional book created by Abdul Al Hasred. It's said to be one of the sources used in the creation of the legendary Book of the Dead, the Necronomicon. Ah! Oh! <laughs> the ne what? Ne uh, hmm. <laughs> Necron. Hmm. Mm. Necron. Oh. Oh. So these are all cop books and stuff. Ah, and the Necronomicon. Hmm. <laughs> Let's not bring that up. This one says the golden rabbit and the moon on it. Does that mean it's about a rabbit that lives on the moon? Rabbits are pretty cute, but what's the moon stuff about? It's talking about a Judas tree that is said to grow on the moon, according to Chinese legend. Hmm, that sounds pretty interesting. And I guess that's pretty much it. I could take this telepathy book over here and just read it a couple of times. Uh, just read it in my in my spare time. Okay. So... We checked this section over here. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm gonna make this like a... Sort of a bonus episode. I, I, I guess I'm gonna title this... Well, actually, let me just see. Yeah, we still have quite a lot of stuff to check over here. Quite a lot of stuff, actually. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna make this like a bonus episode. I'm gonna make the title... Reading Books. Like, bonus. If you want... If you wanna watch this video, then... I don't know. Either way, this whole video is gonna be me reading this stuff. You can skip it if you want, if you've already went through this and it's not really interesting to you. Introduction to geology, huh? Thinking about the Earth, even when you're in the ocean. Kinda romantic in a way, I guess. Mm, indeed. Okay, so let me just see about some stuff here. So, we checked this section over here. Let's see about this here. Theories of the Cambrian explosion. Did a bomb go off near somewhere called Cambria? I doubt that it is that simple. Wrong kind of explosion. Roughly 500 million years ago, during what is known as the Cambrian period, research suggests that the variety of living organisms increased by an order of magnitude. Hmm. Why that happened is, however, still something of a mystery. There are a number of theories. This book is most likely a collection of them. Hmm, that's interesting. The theory of evolution. Heck, even I know this one. This is that Darwin's guy, right? <laughs> yeah, it surely is that Darwin guy. Um, yes and no. Charles Darwin wrote a book called On the Origin of the Species. In it, he put forth his theory of evolution. Yeah, I remember that part. He called it natural selection. Exactly. 
And Seven just fell to sleep once again there. Mother Nature. Is that some sort of book about hippie chicks? <laughs> Seven! Uh, probably not, except perhaps tangentially. It's most likely about the environmental protection. Oh. I was just trying to make a joke. Dude, hippie chicks? Really? <laughs> I mean, really, Seven? Also, I love that we have, like, less than half an hour and we're just talking over here. It's what else. It's like... It's like a typical uh, job deadline that you're gonna have to meet. Except for the fact that most of the time it will be extended. You have 9 days to make a project, but it just extends to 10. Sometimes it just extends to 12 and all that. It's never exact. It's kind of like a zero schedule over here. Yeah, I think I can just extend it a little bit. Paleontology. This one's about fossils, right? Yeah, you are right, Clover. Amanit... Amanets are pretty nasty looking. Amanets? Mother Nature, Paleontology... Why did mankind lose their tails? Jinpei, do you know what this one's about? Why are you asking me? I didn't even know we had tails to lose. Maybe you should ask a human with a tail. Or a Saiyan, I'm just saying. Mankind's ancestors most likely lost their tails as they were no longer useful. And the nutrients required to grow them were better put to use elsewhere. By cutting their fucking tails? I mean, really? I, I wouldn't that hurt? Yeah. I mean, did everybody decide to? Eh, let's cut our tails. At least that's what I read. I was rather young. I may have remembered it incorrectly. Huh? Why the hell would a kid be reading a book like that? Mycographia, huh? Ah, yes. Robert Hooke's famous work. Robert Hooke? First published in 1965. He built a microscope and examined insects and organic substances and other things too small to be seen in detail by human eyes. He then drew pictures of many of the things he'd examined and published them in a book. I'd hazard a guess this shelf is concerned with natural sciences. Well, I'll be damn snake. You are a definitely a smart guy, but I didn't know you have that much. You you must have read a lot of books of different kinds. Creatures of the South Seas, huh? I wonder if this one's got a picture of colorful fish and stuff. Mm hmm. This one says transition of extinct species. We need to hurry it up, or we're going to end up in the pages of a book like that. <coughs> The Nonari, the Nonari game, written by, by Zero. <laughs> it will tell the story of nine people that died on the ship. Or, hey, it, it kind of depends on how you view things, but either way. Um, Alright, we checked everything. Alright, well, let's see. So, this... Shelf, we've read this. What about... Okay. So we only have this section. I mean, I mean, there's stuff down there as well. Hmm. What's that one called? Um, it says, Foundations of DNA and Genetic Engineering. And I guess that's it. Automated Robotics Assembly Line Techniques, huh? What's that? So sort of comic book? <laughs> Jeez, I guess boys really like that stuff, huh? I mean, I was about to say... I was about to say that you like comics and all that, but... Eh. No, you're thinking of a different sort of robot. <laughs> it's definitely not a Gundam. This book is talking about automated machinery that's used to build things like cars. Yeah, you're right. I mean, what is this section? This definitely feels like... Like a section for... Technology stuff. Communication and computer science. Oh, that's a pretty generic title. To be honest, it's so vague, I don't really know what it might be about. Yeah, it sure feels pretty generic. Maybe it is for a student or something like that. Hmm. An overview of photochemistry? I think whoever set this up wanted us to see the cover, not the spine. That's 
guess we can do it, okay? Mm, looks like there's a whole lot of space behind these books. Look, Junpei! I think there's something hidden behind the like behind the books. Yeah, there sure is. Another powerful light bulb. I guess. I guess this is a way of saying that. Yeah, this is not optional. We do have to check every single shelf. So, I wouldn't say that reading all of this is optional. Not really. I mean, really, zero is gonna make us go through every single book over here. I mean, that would take like forever. I think it would be just optional, you know. Well, there was a light bulb here. There isn't anything here now. Mm -hmm. Computer science, automated stuff, blah, 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 blah. What about this? Let's see this section up here. This book is just called Dissection. This bookshelf must be all medical books. Eh, uh, medical, we. From what I can tell, it sounds as though these books have been organized by genre. This library must be massive. I'm rather impressed by how well organized it is. <sighs> well, it isn't. It is a library. Whether it's big or small, it has to be organized. Otherwise, you'll be just looking for books like forever if it's not organized under different in, under different genres. Oh, look, Seven. Here's a book that's perfect for you. It's called Correlation of Muscle, Bone Density, and Bone Strength. Oh, yeah. You're just saying that because it says muscle. Well, you are. You definitely have some muscles, Seven. Mm-mm. Beautiful muscles. Principles of monkey behavior. Hey, Seven, we found another book for you. I'd imagine that's a book describing praxeology studies on monkeys. Or we found a book for... We found a book for Zero. Because we all know that the Zero is actually Mojo Jojo. Monkeys are very similar to humans evolutionarily. So I mentioned the research was fruitful. And this Nonari game was created because of Professor Utonium. Who made Mojo Jojo. And now it is because of Mojo Jojo that we are in this to begin with. So it all goes down to Professor Utonium. He is secretly the mastermind. Not Mojo Jojo. Functions of the human brain, huh? I guess this is a book about the nervous system. I'd love to ask you to read it to me, but I don't think we have the time. I'm kinda curious about it too. There's gotta be a reason why people connect with each other, you know. Dissection Atlas, huh? This whole shelf is full of medical stuff. It looks like this one's called Recreation of Lost Human Functions. You think they're talking about if you, like, lose part of your body, then you could grow it back? Um, well, it kind of is similar to what I've heard before about how through time, different cells inside your body change, and over time you you become a different person, quote-unquote, different person. Kind of like how you, how a sock just keeps getting holes and you patch it up and it will different it will become a different sock. Mm, I don't think so. Maybe they're talking about reconstruction abilities that humankind once possessed. <laughs> I mean, growing your fucking arm? That is like uh, that is like Resident Evil That is like a Resident Evil thing over there. Growing your arm with a T virus. With a virus. In other words, they may be talking about cultivating a sixth sense. A sixth sense, eh? Ancient Gladiators! What's this book doing here? Maybe they were researching human physical limits across history? Huh. There's such a thing like that? This one, it looks like... It looks just like the picture book from earlier. The one with the pop-ups. You think they're part of a series or something? They do have the same binding. Hmm. Okay, well, let's check inside. There's a baseball on this. There's a baseball on this one! Come on, Jubei! Let's see what's in it! I'm gonna go out on the name button here and say it's probably baseball star. Whoa! A head! <gasps> we found a head! This is a pop up book! It's got the letters H, E, A, and T popping out of it. Sure enough, the letters E, H, E, A, and D are sticking out of the book. Hmm. I do have to wonder what is up with that. 
Hmm. Wait, wait. There was something over here. There's a note on the table. Lights to the books. Huh. What does that mean? Interesting. Well, intelligence often hides itself in darkness. Have you ever thought about the pages of a book? Each page only sees, what, maybe two or three minutes of light before the reader is on to the next? They spend the rest of their lives locked in darkness. Where they're like myself. Oh, pretty poetic there, Snake. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. No, oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining, not at all. I live in the darkness, yes. So I guess it wasn't that big of a deal that you were trapped in the coffin there. You you liked it, eh? Snake? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe you are not a mummy, but maybe you are a vampire. Blee! But that has gifted me with the ability to catch the truth so others might miss. I can hear the voices singing in the darkness, you might say. Oh. Total badassery and such. It's a coat rack. Like a place where you can hang coats and hats and stuff. Well, this one's not too big, so maybe just hats. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty then. Let's go... Let's go down. I'm sure that there are more books that we can read. Yeah, there sure are a lot. There are books here in all sorts of languages. But there's something suspicious about the shelf on the left. Ah, oh, you mean this? <laughs> this bookshelf has sort of glass inlaid. It's pretty big, but there's only six books on it. That seems kind of weird. Hey, it looks like there's something on the bottom. I can't really see it, though. The glass is all foggy. Hmm. Maybe it's a key. Who knows? Hmm, let's see what we got here. So many books here. I wonder what this one's... Whoa! What's this? What? Whoa! Oh. Sorry. Ah. Uh, no, I, I, I'm i sorry. Hey, what's to do with this sappy stuff? <laughs> Jim, hey? I mean, you know... Increasing... Uh, Increasing the trust between Junpei and Clover and all that, but... Let's not go too far, Junpei. Not right now. Hmm... Did we check everything over here? No. There's still more! Modern, le modern Japanese literature, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, there's no one of those picture books here. Alright, well, we found three of them. Now, something about these things feels kind of nice, you know? Brings back good memories. Yeah, I get ya. I guess even people like seven were kids once. No shit, you little brat. <laughs> hey guys, cool it. Alright, I think I'm gonna take this picture book with me. Otherwise you two are gonna are gonna bicker about who is gonna get the picture book. Let the adult have it over here. This book is called Agriculture and Historical Organizations and Folklore. Okay, what's this? Origin of Japanese folklore? Hmm. Looks like there are a bunch of books about Japanese culture here. Mostly ones about folklore, though. Well, folklore can cover a wide range of subjects. History, urban life, religious trends, environmental changes, oral traditions. Folklore can cover all those things, if you know where to look. Yeah, pretty much. This looks pretty deep. Eh, I wouldn't say it's pretty deep when you think about it. That's weird book, Junpei. Indian mathematics. Indian mathematics? <laughs> That's funny. Why is that funny? Indian. <laughs> Do you have something against Indians, Clover? Come on. It says Riemann hypothesis. What is there? What is that a hypothesis about with a Riemann? Isn't it pretty straightforward? Heavens no, there are many factors, length, girth, lubrication, or lack of... It's an exciting and rapidly growing field. Whoa! <laughs> well indeed, this one's Goldback's conjecture. Conjecture? What's it about, like magic or psychic stuff or something? Conjecture? Is that like conjuration? Right? I bet it's about jewelry, isn't it? It may have not tell, but it's actually a very respectable mathematics book. It deals with one of the unsolvable problems of addi additive number theory. Uh, sorry I said anything. I mean, jeez, I was making a joke over here. 
Looks like. Look, let's not get into this right now, okay? <laughs> Algebraic number theory. Math, huh? There's another one like that over here. You mean something like primary number theory? Or analytical number theory? Or geometry? Oh my gosh! How did he know? Nobody said anything about those. Well, number theory is usually split into four chief disciplines. If there was a book named Algebraic Number Theory, I took a wild guess that the other three would be there as well. Looks like I was right. You know, all this time, I... All this time, I am able to hear, like, somebody in the background screaming. I think, uh, I think that person is saying nerd, like, over and over again. <laughs> this book's told, right? The P Pythagorean Theorem. I think I heard this one before. This is a famous one. At least I think it's what I'm thinking it is. Sounds like there are a number of map books in this section. Only a bit. I mean, only about theory though. I. I mean, how book is a how big is a book about a theory in mathematics? You would think that there is a book with multiple theories that are explained, but I mean, how big is a book that explains a theory over here? Jesus. I don't know, I mean, I never I never had a book about a theory of mathematics. Leibniz. This book is in German. It looks like it's the complete work works of something. I never heard of it. Oh, if Snake doesn't know what it is, I don't think we'll ever know. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like Snake knows everything in the world and he doesn't know about this. I mean, holy crap. Dot Kind. What the hell is this? Dodkind? Wasn't that a German mathematician? Maybe it's a completion of his work. Alright, what about this? Sheldrake? Sheldrake? Sheldrake. Or Drake. Well, I'm gonna assume it's still German. Oven. Huh. Oven isn't enough to go on. Perhaps it's about the English Revolutionary? Owen? Owen Wilson? Hmm... It's got the volume number written on the lower part of the spine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Um... What are we even supposed to do with that? Okay... Um... What about this, though? Ah, look at this. It's a small enclosure with nine sides. There are three of these things that look kind of like music stands. Hey, Junpei, you think maybe you're supposed to put those pop-up books on the stands? Then you could open them up. Oh, yeah. If we do that, then they may make a shadow on the bottom there. Ah, true, but there are three stands, right? We don't have enough picture books. In other words, we need three picture books. Oh, we do have three picture books. Ah, okay, I guess we're supposed to open this first. It's got a magic wand on it. Okay, so what's inside? Well, I ain't going to open it. Pretty sure it's just gonna have pigeons inside. Whoa! Not again! What the fuck is going on over here? Papa books? What? <laughs> well, what does it say? Like, SE5I? Looks like another Papa book. This book has an S, an E, a dash, and a number 5 sticking out of it. I might be impressed if I was five. <laughs> okay, well, maybe this doesn't make sense, but once we put those in here, it's gonna be alright. Okay, how about we try putting these picture books on the stands? Then... Hmm... This is a little weird. Hmm... Okay, this one actually works, doesn't it? There are three lights in this thing. They aren't very bright, though. Hey, didn't you find some kind of really powerful light bulb earlier? Why don't you put in one of those lights? Yeah. Well, you got a lot brighter, but... But if there are three lights, that means three light bulbs. There won't be much point unless we can replace all three light bulbs. Oh. Well, I only have two. Is there something that I actually missed? I think I missed some stuff, didn't I? Uh. 